what was the key tenants to having you know this 170 million users so you brought up pr hacking pr hacking you know marketing what were some of the things that you did uh, to be able to drive this kind of user growth yeah so i think uh, in hindsight you know like there's just three things that have really worked for us i mean one is that uh, you start by letting your product do your marketing right so if your if your product is not as good as uh, you know, anyone else in the market, there's no reason why people will come to you, right? So we've always tried to have a differentiating edge uh, or, uh, you know, a major UX uh, edge over our competitors. Uh, and at times we've always taken bets too. I mean, it, the joke in our companies, we always take bets too early. Uh, and sometimes that's also not great. But uh, we've been one of those that, whether it was mobile, uh, whether it was apps, whether it was, betting on the next billion users on trains uh, or whether it was voice which we are working on now uh, you know like we've been proud of taking those bets very early on because i think uh, as founders if your gut instinct and some of these bets are really about saying hey uh, you know my gut says this is going to work right and you start taking it because no matter what how much analysis you do uh, it's very hard to justify some of those bets at the time when you took them uh, because at that time, yeah. the revenue contribution for most of those things would be in uh, less than 1%, right, when they launch. So <laughs> so I think, uh, I, and that gives us an edge against larger companies who will be, uh, I, I think, more risk averse in taking those kind of bets and putting enough resources around it. Because whether, whether it's a, a, a large player or a small player, the number of engineers who work on a very, very hard problem uh, which hasn't been solved yet is typically the same, which is probably about two or four. Um, you know, so so you are actually competing with just two guys and four guys. It doesn't matter how large the other player looks like. So so I think our approach has always been, you know, uh, understand the market better than your competitors. We actually never even looked at our competitors in terms of what they were doing, which uh, uh, you know at times is perhaps the other reason why we've kind of uh, been ahead because we realize those things looking just at the market and the consumers and their sentiment and their behavior uh, till this day i think uh, both of us and and many leadership uh, team members uh, go and read all the play store reviews ourselves to figure out you know what the voice uh, of the customer is really saying um, so i think uh, that staying close to uh, the customer uh, i would say uh, customer centricity people call it people call it uh, uh, you know, empathy, um, uh, you could, uh, it also starts coming across as uh, customer experience when you start building, yeah. uh, you know, the, the product to support that. But that's been like the second big reason. Uh, we've been very, very customer centric uh, in our approach. We've not shied away from pivoting in one direction if if the market is telling us that, um, you know, ever. And, and I think that's the reason why we're still around because uh, it's a series of, small pivots that uh, kept us growing year on year and, you know, kept us chugging along. And uh, the third thing I would say is that, uh, you know, we've been extremely frugal in our mindset uh, in how we've built stuff. Uh, it's not by design when we started. Uh, when we started, we always had the ambition, like everybody else, to keep raising more, more and more money and, and to burn it and grow faster. Yeah. Uh, but, but since we were unable to do that in our early years, uh, you know, we ended up, uh, making hard choices that led us to learn things the hard way, right? So how do you market without money? Uh, you know, how do you hire the best engineers without, you know, paying them like higher than everybody else in the market, right? I mean, uh, boils down to these kind of problems and situations, you know, when you're building companies. Um, and, and I think that led you to build a muscle that works very differently whether it is our content marketing or video marketing capability that we built over time and that's been built over the last six years right uh, or whether it is our app marketing and distribution capability uh, or whether it is just our ability to do more with less right so we've got 150 people uh, serving you know like the almost 30 million monthly active users yeah. right? uh, so so i think uh, i think it boils down to these three things which some of them were by design, but the others actually were because of circumstances.